everybody. Welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters at stampingwithmelva.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And today it's my first live of 2022 and I'm excited to get going again. I've taken a little bit of time off for the holidays and I hope you have had some time too with family and friends. Um, and I hope you've also had some time in your craft room. It's been a very snowy Christmas and holiday season here on the west coast of Canada. And so it's been a great time to be in my craft room when I haven't been shoveling snow. And I am happy to say, and I can't believe I'm actually happy to say this, that it's raining today and the snow is going to start to disappear. Um, it's, uh, it's always nice. Hey, Sarah, and I know you're in a deep freeze where you are. Hopefully it's not too, too cold, cold there. All right, today I thought I'd jump on. I made a card last week using the uh, Daffodil Daydream, which is a stamp set from the upcoming um, January to June mini catalog that launches on Tuesday, if you can believe it. Um, and so to, I had said during that that I would actually show you how to put the, the dies together. They are, I'm gonna say a little overwhelming, when I first looked at them, I kind of thought, oh, gosh, I can't do this. But they're really not that hard if you just kind of take your time. And so I thought I would show you how to to put a card together um, using the dies and how they all fit together. All right. I'm going to switch over to my desktop. Um, if you are coming in through YouTube, that's great. Um, hope you take the time to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're coming in through Facebook and haven't given permission um, to Facebook, please go out and do that so that I can see who's commenting. So far, it all looks good. I can see the names. Um, but go to StreamYard.com slash Facebook and give permission so that I can actually see who's commenting. All right. Let me switch over. So here's a card that I put together and I really, I really love how it turned out. And I have to say, I, I, it didn't take all that long um, to do. I've used, this is pear pizzazz um, as the card base. And then I've used some of the really pretty um, designer series paper that comes with the Daffodil Daydream suite. It's got daffodils done in kind of white and background. Uh, scalloped contour. This is the second largest die. And then these are all the pieces. Now, I've also used some of this stunning, it's called windowpane check ribbon that is in, it's actually evening evergreen and white, but I thought it kind of went well with the, the look of my card. And so I've used a little bit of this for the bow and then stamped the sentiment in evening evergreen. Isn't that pretty? Just the three-dimensional look to it is just so pretty. Okay, so let me show you. This is the Daffodil J Dream um, stamp set. I'm actually not using this today. I'm using a stamp from the Artfully Composed because I always need thank you cards. Um, but this is the stamp set that goes with the... And then these, now, my dies are put back, not in the, in the way they came because, of course, I pulled them all off. But... If you can look at these, you kind of go, oh gosh, I can't figure this out. But really, they're not that hard once you get going. So you have pieces that cut out the full kind of cup of the daffodil. And then you have a piece that corresponds that cuts out the two shapes. And let me just bring those in. Let's move this out of the way. So this is the... the uh, the two pieces. So this die cuts out the, it's a little hard to see, this die cuts out the the one with the the uh, cutouts in it and that piece cuts the, the solid piece. And then you have some of these shapes, this shape here, which cuts that piece out. And then this shape here cuts the corresponding detail to it. So there is a piece that cuts the solid piece and then a piece that cuts the, the detail. Now, that's what, I, what else have I got here? There is this piece that cuts. This is another background piece for, oops, that goes that way. And there is the, this is the, the daffodil bud. There is two pieces that cut that. 
Uh, oh, and then there's this one that is goes, these two pieces go together. So you can see there's a solid piece and then there's the detail piece. So once you've kind of figured that out, um, these go together not too badly. What I did was I cut one whole set out of um, Bumblebee and then I cut out one whole set out of Crushed Curry, or sorry, of Daffodil Delight. Um, I think this is either Bumblebee or Crushed Curry, I can't remember now. Um, and so once I did that, I was able to put the two pieces together. And then I cut out two sets of the stems. So there are these stems. There's one that has the bud piece. And so I actually cut out um, two different sets of those to use on my two cards. Okay, let me start putting these together. So take it slow and easy. Don't get frustrated by it and you'll realize that they actually do go together. Hey Debbie, oh goodness, sorry, looking, I was looking down all the way missing. Hey Carol from Connecticut, hey Debbie. Hey Tracy, oh it's only minus four in Saskatchewan today. Actually that's really warm, it's been really cold, hasn't it? All right, let's get these pieces off of my, so I don't lose them. That's the last thing I wanna do is lose my dies. Them all back in the envelope. Ah, they're all falling out here on my desk. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put that over on the table behind me so I don't lose it. Okay, so let's put some of these together. Let's put the stems down. I'm going to bring in my, my silicone mat just because I'm using um, the glue, liquid glue. Um, on some of them, I actually did use um, uh, dimensionals. No, sorry, not dimensionals, blue dots. I used dimensionals. But on some, oops, see, that's, see, that's why I get this big glob of glue. That's all I need. There we go. Put some of it on there. And then, so just put a, take it one at a time. So start with the the cup, daffodil cups. I don't want to glue on there, but it'll dry clear. All right, so there's your two cups. So in this one, a little different on the than on the last one, on the card I made. And that this one, I've got the the daffodil delight um, as my top one. Okay, so then I've got this piece here. This is the one that will go on the back of the, the cups. So there's two different ways to do this and I'll show you that. So then I, these ones where I can, I'm using glue dots where it's big enough that you can actually get a glue dot on it. Just makes it easier. And I have two of those because I have two of the, actually probably, yeah. So you need two of these for each of the cups so these two fit together kind of like a petal and I'm going to use a glue dot or a dimensional this one all right so those go together like that so that's one of the flowers and then this is goes on top and again I'm going to use a dimensional I just kind of like the look of it all in 3d all right, so there's one flower. Can you see that? So it's got the two backing pieces and then the cup. Oops. So that's one flower done. Now, the second flower is this piece, and you have another piece like that. And then you've got these thin, they remind me of. I'm not sure whether it's a, I don't think of whether what kind of tree it is that produces these kind of spinners that come off. I don't know if that's an oak tree or somebody can tell me. Oops. Yeah, somebody can tell me. They're, they have these spinner pieces that seem to come off of the trees, and that's what this reminds me of. Okay. 
All right, slow and steady. So this piece goes on top let's see, of this piece. I'm just gonna kind of put it like that. And then we'll use another dimensional to put the butter, the buttercup, the cup of the daffodil. And put that on like that. There. So we've got our two daffodil flower pieces. Now this piece is the bud. And I'm just going to use a little bit of glue. This is a new glue. And so it, I haven't quite managed to get it just coming out a little bit. So I'm getting a little bit more glue than I'd like. But there we go. Okay. Oops. Okay. Now this piece, this bud piece, Maple trees. Okay, Marilyn says it's a maple tree. Okay, actually, so somebody else. Tracy said it's a maple tree. Perfect. That's what produces those spinners. <laughs> All right, so this is the, the stem that's got the, the end for the bud. And so I'm going to use a glue dot on it. And the really nice part of this is it's got the long the long piece that you can actually glue on to the the stem all right so i've got i've got my two flowers made and i've got my little bud made and i've got my my extra stems so it does go together fairly quickly once you've figured it out um there are, ex, there are other dyes in there, but they're the ones, there's a butterfly and there's some other ones, but they, they will cut out the, the stamped images. So you don't need those if you're just using these three dimensional daffodils. Okay, so let's bring in my other pieces for my, my flower. Hey, Crystal, welcome. Okay, so I've got my pear pizzazz and I have cut it um, four and a quarter Going right side. Four and a quarter by eleven, and I'm going to score this at five and a half. I did some rearranging yesterday in my my craft studio, and I'm still getting used to it. I've got a dresser with some drawers for storage beside me now that I've got my stamp and cut and emboss machine on, and it's a little higher than it was before. This kind of got me off a little bit. All right, isn't this paper pretty? It just is so stunning. All of the paper in this Daffodil Delight and on the other side is black and white with these little crosses. I think it's very vanilla in this. Um, in fact, I'm sure it's very vanilla because that's what I used last time. All right, I'm just going to use a little bit of glue to put this in place. I don't know if there's daffodils starting to come up here on the west coast. It's a little early for them. They're buried in snow at the moment. Okay. Now I cut out, this is the second largest of the scallop contour. And what I'm going to do now is just start to arrange. So let's put some stems. I did trim these off. Um, so I put them in place and then I, I trim the ends so that I I had the links that I wanted. Just kind of bunching them up like, like a, a bouquet. And then we'll just tuck this one down in. Okay, so let's let's put some of these stems in place and then we can put put the flowers on top. And I am going over, over top of, or outside the lines, I guess, um, over the edge of the, uh, the scallop contour rectangle. Oops. I'm 
I've got this going the opposite direction to my, my original card. I'm going to use dimensionals. It's going to be quite thick. This might be a card that needs extra postage, at least in Canada, once you start getting, getting a little thicker. You end up having to put extra postage on your, your cards, so you do want to be a little careful with that. I don't need this one. I think I won't use that extra piece. Okay, so now I'm just going to take and trim these off just on a diagonal as they would be if you cut a bouquet of flowers. At least I always cut my bouquet's stems on a diagonal. And then I will use dimensionals. Like I said, this is going to be a little thicker card that I expect will take extra postage. Might be one you want to hand deliver. Hey, Carol, welcome. Sorry, I'm just glancing over to see comments. Welcome, I'm glad you joined from the UK. It's getting later there. Okay, so I'm gonna just put this in the middle like that. Oops, and I need a piece. I think I've got an extra piece here. There we go. Piece of white. All right, so I'm using Evening Evergreen uh, ink, and it's quite dark because I spent some time the other day re-inking my, my uh, stamp pads. Gosh, I had messy fingers. Um, and I'm going to leave that just sit because it is very juicy. And in the meantime, I'm going to take some of this really pretty ribbon. As I said, this is evening evergreen. So I'm just going to take and tie a small bow, hopefully a small bow. Not too bad. Trim it up a bit. I'm seeing some comments and I can't actually see who's commenting. So don't forget to, to um, go in and go to streamyard.com slash Facebook so that I can see, give permission so that I can actually see. Hey, Carol. See who's commenting. All right, we're going to use a glue dot and just put this ribbon in place like that. I just thought the pop of the evening evergreen was just a kind of a pretty color. It just needed something a little darker. All right, so now my ink, I think, is dried. And I'm just going to take and fussy cut. You could use a die or you could use a punch, whatever you want. But I, if you've watched me before, you, uh, you know that I tend to uh, like to fussy cut. Fussy cut my, my sentiments. I'm not really I'm just kind of going around it and leaving a bit of an edge. And then I will use dimensionals. I'm kind of all in on dimensionals on this card. All right, and we will just put this right like that. There. Okay, now for the inside. I've got a piece of basic white, and so this is cut four inches by five and a quarter. And this is just a little piece. I actually had um, just a little piece. I cut this 12 inches long, and I cut this five and a quarter. So I think this is three quarters of an inch. I had enough to cut two of them. So on this, oops, this card, yes, I have it out as well. Um, I just cut it along the bottom. So I took the little piece of designer series paper that I had left over and cut it in half. So it was a three quarter inch by four inches for both. Kind of nice to just use up your little scraps of designer series paper um, by putting them on the inside of cards. All right. 
and I'm not going to put a sentiment on the inside of this um, because I want to write a note. And then this will go on the inside. There we go. Straight. Okay. So two cards. As I said, once you've figured out these dies, they're really not that hard to put together. Um, I'm quite excited to look make some. Um, I think I'm going to do some that are white with orange because they're more like a nastur nasturtium. Is that the right name? Um, and I think it would just look really pretty. So you can play with the dies. As I said, they, they come out um, as of Tuesday. You'll be able to order these daffodil dies along with the daffodil Daffodil Daydream Bundle and Sweet in the upcoming catalogs. So if you don't have your catalogs yet, I know that they're a little slow um, with all of our weather and all sorts of things. Um, Narcissus, that's it, Tracy. What did I say? Nasturtium. I know that that's a different kind of flower. Um, Narcissus, that, nar, yes. Um, that's a different kind of flower. Uh, yeah, so catalogs, I sent catalogs, if you ordered from me in 2021, you should have a catalog in the mail. And I, as I said, they are a little slow in coming. So as of Tuesday, if you don't have your catalog in hand, the PDF will be available and you can go to my online store. I really hope that they're going to be coming. They've been sent directly from Stampin' Up um, out of Salt Lake City. And so I hope they're not going to be too, too delayed in reaching you. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and you would like a catalog and you live in Canada, because I can only sell in Canada, just reach out to me. Um, you can message me. You could leave a comment on either um, YouTube video or my Facebook group, and I will make sure you get a catalog. Um, but if you have purchased from me uh, this year, last year, to 2021, you will order, should have a catalog on its way to you. And if you don't get it by, oh, in the next couple of weeks, please, please let me know so that I can actually send you one and make sure you do get one. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. It's been really nice to see everybody. First one of 2022. Uh, as always, I'll just give you a little bit of rundown of my upcoming schedule. I'm back on track. So on Monday nights, I do a Zoom class um, with we make two cards and I give you all the instructions. You use your own supplies. If you're interested in that, you can find all of the information in my Facebook group. Um, or page. And so um, create with Stamping with Melva. If you go out to that on Facebook, you'll find the Zoom information and you're welcome to join me. That's at 6.30 Pacific, or sorry, at 7 p.m. Pacific on Monday nights. Tuesday nights at 6.30 Pacific, I will be live with a sketch challenge. And then on Thursday night, I will be live with a mystery challenge this week. I'm going to start alternating my mystery challenges with a technique um, on the alternate weeks, but this week I will do a mystery challenge. So that will be at 6.30 uh, Pacific and it will be in my group only. I don't do that on YouTube. Um, so if you're interested, please join my group. Uh, and the clue for that will go live at about 9 a.m. Pacific. Uh, and then Saturday I come go live at 11 a.m. Pacific with a card you. And then of course on Sunday, which is at the same time, 12 Pacific. So I hope you can join me through the week. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, leave me a comment wherever you're watching from. And if you are coming in through YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. So you'll be notified when I go live or when I post a video, because I kind of alternate between lives and videos. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Happy stamping. Bye. <laughs>